Gather around, kids. Gather around. Scooch in. It's one of my favorite stories, and it took place in the city called Chelm a long, long time ago. And it's called the Disappearing Hala. What's Hala? Hala is a braided bread that we eat on the holidays. This story is about a very wealthy man named Asher who used to go to Shabbat services every single week. What's Shabbat? Shabbat is the Sabbath day, the seventh day of the week when we rest. Now, back to our story. On this particular Shabbat, the rabbi spoke about bringing 12 loaves of challah to the temple just before Asher fell asleep. This story is putting me to sleep. <laughs> Believe me, it gets better. When the rich man, when Asher, he awoke, he thought that what the rabbi was saying was actually God speaking only to him. And so he went home, he got all of the ingredients, and he made beautiful challahs, and he came back to the temple on Friday morning. He looked around for the place that God would want him to leave them. And when he saw the ark, he knew that that was the place to put the chalas. He quickly ran up the stairs and he placed the chalas six on one side and six on the other inside the ark and he closed the door. A little while later, another man, his name was Judah, he came into the temple and he stood in front of the ark and he said, God, my family is so hungry and I work so hard. God, can you please help me? He thought, maybe God can't hear me. What if I open the doors of the ark so that God can hear my words better? And as he opened the doors of the ark, 12 chalas fell out of the ark. He was so, so happy. He gathered up those challahs, quietly closed the ark door, and took those challahs home to feed his family, not only for Shabbat, but for the week. What? I was hungry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Anywho, then the next morning, the rich man was at his usual seat in the temple, waiting for the moment when the ark would be opened. He wanted to see if God had accepted the chalas that he brought. And when they opened the ark, lo and behold, the chalas were gone. And so every Friday morning, Asher would place 12 chalot into the ark. And every Friday afternoon, Judah would take the dozen chalas out of the ark. It was a dance that continued week after week for many, many months. Well, one morning, the rabbi happened to be in the synagogue when Asher placed a dozen chalas into the ark. A few hours later, Judah took the 12 chalas out of the ark, and he understood what was going on. The following morning, the rabbi introduced the two men to each other. Asher said angrily, I thought God was taking the chalas that I brought. Judah said angrily, I thought God was taking care of me. The rabbi took both men's hands into his own and answered, You, my friend, have indeed been placing chalas into the hands of God. And you, dear one, have been certainly receiving chalas from the hands of God. Yours are the hands of God, and yours are also the hands of God. When we feed the hungry, 
or provide shelter for the homeless. Our hands become the hands of God. For God works in our world when we respond to God's presence by doing deeds of love and kindness, by acting with chesed.